Hi, in this video we're going to adapt our basic window screen and we're going to add a label to it. In fact we're going to add two labels to our screen and one of those labels is going to hold some text and one of those labels is going to hold an image. Okay, so this is essentially the program we had before to display the basic window. The only thing is I've changed the title to Lesson 2. So we want to um, add a label to our window. So what we're going to do is I'm going to call my label L1 and that's going to be a Q widgets dot Q label and in parentheses I'm going to put W because I'm going to tell the program that I want to add this label to this window. Now if I did anything at the moment we wouldn't get anything because it doesn't know what to do with that label. So we're going to do L1 dot set text and let's just go for hello world something nice and simple. Let's run that and there we go there's our window. Now you might notice it's much smaller than the one we had previously and that's because we've got something in the window now so it knows what to Oh, it thinks it knows what to do, so it's made it as small as possible. Let's resize that, and we can see we've got the title um, PyQt4, and we've got our label in the first possible position within that window. Okay, let's make things a little bit better and also learn something new. So we can change where the window is shown on the screen, and we can also show. Um, and we can also change the size of the window. So what I'm going to do is go for W dots, remember W is our window, and then we're going to go for set geometry. So set geometry is there to um, say things about our window. So I want to go for 100, so that's how far in I want the window to come. 100, how far down in pixels I want the window to come. Um, 300, that's how wide I want the window to be, and 300, how deep I want the window to be. In fact, I'll make that 200, how deep I want the window to be. So if we run this one, and it's just come up on my other screen actually, so I'll bring it over, but you can see, there we have it, so it's 100, uh, well it would have been 100 on the screen here, it was that on my other one, but it's 300 wide and it's 200 down. So this is obviously better than what we had before, but it's um, still a bit strange. So we've got that hello world in the top right hand corner there, sorry, left hand corner there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that label. So what I want to go here is label one dot, I wonder how I move the label. Well, let's just move. So I'm going to move it so it's somewhere across. Now it's 300 wide, so I'm going to go 130 um, and then I'm going to move it down a little, so let's make it 20 down. Let's see what that looks like. We can always change it again if we want to. I'm just going to get rid of the old one. It's still there. Okay, and let's run that. Bring it over. It's not ideal. The Hello World's not quite centered, but it, it's better than it was before. Okay, so I've changed the um, code slightly so that the label comes into the middle of the screen and you can see over here these are different things I've got in the folder where I've got the um, label file. I've also got a globe.png um, image there which I'm going to add. Okay, so if I want to be able to um, include images in my GUI I need to actually include the um, GUI module. So we've got it there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new label. So we'll call that L2. That's going to be a Q widgets dot Q label. We're adding that to our window. But this time with this one, we're going to say L2. And this time it's going to be set pixmap and that takes an image and it takes a an image of qpix map type so that's going to be um, qt gui dot and then it's going to be a qpix map now i can't quite see it there so let's go to start typing q 
Pix map. There we go. And then I put in parentheses there the name of the file. So it's going to be globe.png. So the next thing I need to do is I want, well, I want to move that. Otherwise, it's just going to be in that top corner. So let's go for L2 dot move and I'm going to put this at 120 90 and then that's everything to um, produce what we want so I'll run that and I'll bring that over and there you go we've got our title um, QT4 um, lesson two from here we've got our label hollow world from here a position 100 across and 20 down and we've got our little image of a globe here our little png and um, which is label l2 at 120 90. I hope you found that tutorial helpful um, again I've included a link to the code in the description below stay in infield with Winfield.